We are going to do it with toast, so you may want to have a tea, a coffee, or something. <laughs> or not, you can toast with a dessert. But uh, you can go for it. Okay, so I just want to say a few words for the all the people that uh, came here. Thank you very much for coming. I uh, hope you enjoyed yourself. And please feel uh, free to stay for the rest of the night. Uh, you know, it's very good to have from time to time this opportunity where you can look back, just like a man climbing a mountain, and after several hours or days, he looks back and see how far he's traveled. So this opportunity presents it itself with Izzy here. Uh, major, major <laughs> <laughs> uh, milestone in his life. And I, I think uh, you, do, you do some cheshbon uh, nefesh uh, when you reach this uh, thing. So looking back at it, I'm saying that you know, the people of Israel in the Bible were told that they were like uh, Asher, Yanur, Tokken, Yerbe, the Kenny Thoughts. So the Jewish people, the, Jewish, uh, the Israeli people, are uh, people that the more you torment them and the harder you make them work, the stronger they become and the better they become. So uh, I think it's true for the people of Israel. It's also people for Izzy, the person, uh, looking back at his life, uh, starting from a uh, shtetl in Poland, through many, many years and a lot of tribulations, and here we are, 90 years old, and so uh, here you are, uh, surrounded with people that love you, the family, people that came from afar, from the state, of course the family of uh, Lil. So we all here uh, wishing you all the best and many years of happiness. <laughs> Okay. I'm, not, I'm not gonna do uh, it verbally like my dad did. I have it written down here. <laughs> okay. Today we're celebrating the birthday of somebody who means a lot to me. Israel Greenberg, otherwise known as my Saba. <laughs> we're here to celebrate your 90th birthday and to let you know that we love and appreciate you. We aren't the only ones who appreciate you. So does every female senior citizen in the Fatman <laughs> <laughs> field it's, it's easy to understand why Saba is so popular with the ladies. He's handsomely tanned. His hair is perfect. He smells like warm banana bread. He's a real charmer. He keeps Lil on her toes with comments like, Too bad you didn't come home sooner, my girlfriend just left. <laughs> or, or they just don't make them like me anymore. <laughs> He's also a great baker. Who can forget his blueberry bun? Who can forget the kreplech? Who can forget the rogelech? Uh, or the apple cake. <laughs> Just to name some of my favorites. <laughs> Saba has a great sense of humor and has brought fun and laughter into our lives. He always has a funny Yiddish comment or two to make about the world around him. Thank you. But probably, <laughs> for example, probably the greatest thing Saba ever taught me was the value of hard work. Saba started working at the age of 14. And for those of you who don't uh, yet uh, have jobs, let me just understand, uh, say that when he started working, he worked in a hot bakery at the age of 14, 15 hours a day. <laughs> Years later, he did an easier job, worked 16 hours a day chopping frozen trees in Siberia. <laughs> and finally, he retired into a 17 hour workday in the variety store for 18 years. Oh my god. Saba's life until now has been a long and interesting one. Today, he may be remembering how much the world has changed over the last 90 years. However, as we all know, what really matters to him is family. 
Sapa has been a great father to my mom and Menachem. My mom remembers him as a father that was patient and affectionate. For example, when my mother was a kid, she would comb her hair for hours, getting out every little knot, because in Poland there was no such thing as shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> Sapa has always been very lucky, and he really struck gold when he found Lil. He is a loving husband to Lil, and has an intense love for his entire family. We are, I strongly suspect, one of his real reasons for enjoying life. Family and friends, please join me in a toast to Saba, the head of the family. Thank you, Saba, for all you have done for us. We are where we are because of your hard work, love, and sacrifice. Thank you. Amen. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, one more. One more speech. One more speech. Oh. Okay. Um, I want you to do this because it would be so special to all of us. We're kind of come lately, 23 years, <laughs> but we couldn't have asked for a nicer family to come into. Today is a wonderful day for us all. We've gathered from far and near to celebrate and first day for the 90th time for a man whom we all hold so dear. Izzy, look around and see the faces you love, and you can count and see we are many. A celebration of special happiness and joy of life and the importance of family. Thank you. There are green birds and castmans and manners alike, and Hermans and Shadlins galore. All here for one purpose to wish you Mazel Tov on your birthday and for many more. Before there was Lil, if he had to say goodbye to his wife, who was taken before her time. But because it was Bashir, and is he so special, he got lucky a second time. So it was, it was just 23 short years ago, the Greenbergs and Shadlands united, Polak Fall, Debbie Dana Chanuk from Barry Mendel and Faye, Susan Tammy Danny, Pauline Boaz, and Shoal. And many more wonderful grandchildren abound for Booby Lil and Saba Izzy, Melissa Laurie, Samantha Kyle and Jamie, Courtney Katie Haley, and Ronnie. <laughs> well, Izzy and Lil live such a charmed life, going on cruises to Florida and such, and we wish them many more vacations like this because they are loved so much. Izzy cooks and cleans and dopes on Lil and treats her like a queen. Who could wish for a better father and husband such a mensch like you've never seen. So Izzy, we're all here to help you celebrate your birthday in this special way and to tell you how much you're forever loved more and more each and every day. Now we'll drink a toast in your honor and tell you that it's a fact. You're the very best Saba husband and father and a hell of a first class act. Look Very well done, Debbie. Good job. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. That was so cute. That was so cute. All right.